Earlier today, local parents, educators, and a Utica City School student gathering at City Hall to rally for school funding. Our Shalon Stevens has the coverage. See, if you give somebody shoes to run in, they will more likely be able to win the race. If you have somebody running barefoot, they will have to struggle to win the race. And we are the ones running barefoot right now. The rally was hosted by Citizen Action of New York and their affiliate Alliance for Quality Education. They are community activists who support a number of causes, including teachers unions. Nisha says lack of funding has not just affected her education, but her peers as well. Our schools um, are definitely uh, dilapidated and um, we don't have even proper bathroom stalls or proper desks to sit on. The seats are broken. Um, we don't have any textbooks that we can take home or do our homework. We don't have any textbooks that we can read on our own without sharing with another person. Based off of a 12-year-old foundation aid formula, New York State owes at least $4 billion to school districts across the state. Utica is owed $44.8 million and Rome is owed $12.7 million. If I don't see the benefits, because I am a senior, I will be moving out of the school range, but it's very important that we, we make a change now so that the younger generation doesn't have to suffer the way, same way we had to suffer. They can achieve whatever they want to achieve. They can do whatever they want to do and not have to struggle and figure out how they're going to do their homework or how they're going to you know, be uh, paying attention in class when they're sitting on something very uncomfortable and trying to balance themselves on their own desk. In Utica, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News.